Hello, I'm teacher Yolanda. Intentional Teaching Card M25, the long and short of it, focuses on objectives, compares, and measures. Children will become aware of number quantities, such as counting one to five, and develop understanding for size attributes, such as small and big, when comparing two objects. For this activity, you will need materials such as string, ribbon or yarn, tape, a piece of paper and a pen to write down to make a small line and make a large line and write down numbers one, two, three on the small line and one to five on the big line. We're going to be using lots of repetition for children to really understand these concepts. If I was with a child, this is what I would do. So let's sign small small. My turn, small. Your turn, small. And if they need help, just assist them with their hands. This is how you sign big, big. So let's cut the same small size line. This is the small line. Say small, small, s small. Let's cut this big line. This is the big string. Say big, big. Say big. Find the small line. They might point, or you might have to guide them to find the small line. And you can say, yes, that's the small line. Or if they point to the big one, just move their hand over to the small line and say, this is the small line. Find the big line. If your child is vocalizing, you can help them vocalize each word. Or if they're making utterances, support them by doing this. Let's find the numbers on this big line. The big line. One. Let's count together. One. And if they say, or if they make a sound like, mm, or whichever sound they make, go one. Yes, that's one. Two. Say two. T two. Child might say t or if they're manually signing, show them how to do two. And then go th three, th three, say three, th three, yes, that's three. Four, this is the number four, say four, four, yes, that's four. This is the number five, say five, th five. Then you can cut another small and another big piece of string and you can play a fun game. You can go, these are two small pieces. And your child might go, no, and keep going. Are these two small pieces? Yes, and then reward them if they get the right response. By teaching children the foundational skills of comparing and measuring, we help them transfer these concepts into play where children really learn. Soon, children will be able to place things in order from smallest to biggest, from big, bigger to biggest, or compare objects by length and seeing what's longer and what's shorter.